changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Your coffee, 173.5 degree Fahrenheit, brewed to... Thanks, Cosworth. Of course, sir. at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Hey, Codsworth. Enjoy your coffee, sir.
Grognak the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Looks like the milk got delivered. Hmm. More the same. Answer the door and he'll go away. Huh? Can you get the door? Whenever I answer, he just asks for you over and over. Mm, I've tried waiting him out before. Doesn't work. Might as well just answer the door. Come on, get the door. I'll owe you one, okay? You know he's not gonna give up. Insta mash, fancy lad snack cakes, Blamco mac and cheese. Expires in never. Nuka Cola, ice cold. Saddle up Salisbury steak, graded A plus. Are you gonna get the door? Hey, hon. It's that salesman. He'll want to talk to you. Good morning. vault calling. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. I'm here now. So you are. <laughs> so you are. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Sure, let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see.
Walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Sir, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. I am referring, of course, to our great national pastime, baseball. This afternoon, right here in the city, Boston's swatting sultans will swing for the fences. 